In today's video, I'm going to explain why I felt the need to replace perplexity inside Harbor. I'm going to talk a little bit about perplexity, a little bit about the difference between the front end and the API, and then I'm going to explain the exact steps that I took to actually replacing it inside Harbor. One of the problems with perplexity, at least in the API, is that it doesn't really do what it does in the front end. If you use the front end of perplexity, it creates research tasks and then creates questions to follow those research tasks. When you use the API, it just kind of does a random search on Google and hopes to give you the information that you're asking for. It's not the same thing at all. The front end of perplexity, perplexity pro is really, really good. The API is really, really bad. So one of the problems we were having with Harbor, and by the way, Harbor 1.2.1 is here. This is a bug fix update, but also we completely removed perplexity from our system. And I actually built my own perplexity um, this weekend, which might sound a bit mad, but I highly recommend you check out Harbor. We're doing some massive things with it. I'm constantly trying to make it better. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about one of the things that I did to make it better in today's video. So if you go on Google and type in perplexity API playground, okay, and you just say something like, find some data about uh, women's clothing trends in 2024, okay? What it's gonna do is it doesn't do any of the, I'm gonna do exactly the same search on perplexity and we're gonna look at the difference in how this search is done. So you can see what it does with the pro search is it creates a research task and then it asks different questions to find information about that research task from different sources, okay? And then it does another research task, asks those questions and then gives you the sources. The issue with the back end is, is twofold. Number one, I don't believe for a minute that all of the data that it gives is real. And to be honest with you, I think it's bullshit a lot of the times. The reason I say that is because it is based on Llama 3.1. And I feel like there isn't this very strong connection to the internet like there is in Perplexity uh, Pro. But another thing is that it doesn't give sources. You have to actually email them and to have sources turned on, which I really don't like that either. I'll show you exactly what I did right now to replace perplexity inside Harbor. I'll show you all of the steps that we actually, that I'm we're actually using now to accomplish this. First thing that happens is the keyword is refined. So if it's like if the keyword is so you can see like a keyword like this. <clears throat> let me just put this in Excel draw. Something like tailor made elegance your Italian suit guide. This will be turned into something like Italian suit guide, okay? So it refines the keyword. What it does is it generates research tasks, just like Perplexity Pro does. So it generates research tasks. This is an agent agentic methodology that I'm using now. So Harbor, to a certain extent, has kind of a brain of its own at this point, and it works really, really well. Agentic basically means that it creates tasks for other um, parts of Harbor to, to complete. Okay, so one part of it generates the task, then another part generates the keyword to research to fulfill that task's obligations, and then the final part writes a summary of all of the data that it finds. Okay, so it generates research tasks, and then it also um, searches the refined keyword on Google, uh, reverse engineers the keyword on Google or from Google, Okay, this isn't actually related to what we're talking about, but this is another thing that Harbor just does that we haven't really communicated properly with people. Once it's generated the research tasks, it generates questions to fulfill task, and then it um, searches each question on Google one by one, scrapes all of the results and writes a summary, and then writes a summary of the summaries. Uh, so the final part of this is, there's a final prompt that says, take all of the information that you've just been given from all of these different websites and put it into a digestible format. So then obviously the next stage of this is that this is all fed, of course, to the content generator and also to the data visualization generator. So what I've done is I've put Perplexity's front end, which has this agentic uh, method of creating research tasks and then asking questions that will fulfill those research tasks and then write summaries of all of the data found. I've done exactly the same thing inside Harbor now for the data visualization generator, but also for the content generator. So now your content, even if you're writing the most highly specific 
content that you can think of about the most complicated topics in the world, you can rest assured that, first of all, we are reverse engineering the SEO of um, competitors, but then we are also giving real information from government sources, from really, really strong sources with attribution, attribution as well. So there are going to be you know, mentions of where the data is found and things like that. So we've also improved data visualizations as well. So that's kind of a summary of why I felt the need to, re to remove Perplexity API and replace it with something else. I've got to be honest, I don't think Perplexity is that bothered about their API. Doesn't seem that good. I don't really trust it, to be honest with you. Their front end, which is a mix of Claude and Perplexity, is exactly what I've also done now in Harbor. So I basically copied what you can see on Perplexity's front end and put it into a back end version of Harbor. So that's basically the update for today. There are a couple of other things as well. You can see that my tokens now um, are showing as 58,000. Um, so there should be no more issues with uh, tokens and things like that as well with Harbor. So really, if you want to support us guys, check out Harbor in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why I decided to replace Perplexity API in Harbor. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend as usual. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.